What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23 coming to you today with some Destiny news. Now of course it is Thursday, so you know that's the day that Bungie puts out their weekly update. Now we had the big patch yesterday and people are still kind of getting used to that and seeing how that is. I uh, put a video on that, my thoughts on that yesterday. And I'll, you know, maybe do a recap of that over the weekend after I play a little bit more PvP and see how these weapon changes are going over. But uh, I wanted to go over the update today. It wasn't a big update, but there was actually um, something really cool about this update, and you guys are going to be happy because for once I'm going to give Bungie some praise. Now, we know we've all been clamoring for extra vault space for a long time now. That was something they mentioned back in October, and, you know, everybody's like, well, quit bothering about vault space. They're working on it. Well, they've been working on it for a couple months, so I think that's why everyone's getting frustrated as they hinted at it. They should, probably shouldn't have said anything when they did back in October, and now people have been thinking that was going to come every month, but... Anyways, right now, uh, this new update, they actually have added a feature called the Mobile Vault. And if you have the Destiny Companion app on your smartphone, or your, you, know, you use it on the Bungie website, like where you go in to look at your character profile, you can actually now access your vault from that, that profile, and you can move your weapons from your vault over to your uh, character in game while you're playing the game and this is really cool it's a great feature it's actually something that's really awesome and I'm gonna show you guys how that works here in a second now I wish I could capture my computer screen and show you how I was going in here and doing this um, I don't actually use the Bungie app on my phone because I'm not a huge smartphone person I you know I use one for work but I hate having all these apps on it clogging it up I'm a very simple kind of old school person I use my phone to make phone calls and so <laughs> I don't really use the apps on the phone too much Plus, when I'm playing games at home, I'm right next to my computer, so I want to be able to, I can just do it on my PC. So, this is pretty cool. So, if you forget a weapon or anything, and you want to, or you have want to transfer a weapon between characters, you can just do it this way. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys really quick here. So, I'm going to go into my menu on Destiny. So, here's my Titan. Now, you can see in his inventory, just looking at primary weapons, you can see I've got uh, eight of the nine slots full. So now I'm going to go over to my computer. And, you know, of course, you guys can't see this, but I wish you could. So I'm just on Bungie.net. I went into my profile. I selected my my character, my Titan, and I clicked over to the the top space where it says gear, and it shows you what gear you're currently using. Now, first, let's do this. I'm going to go into my gear, my Titan. Now, watch on the on the screen here. I'm going to select my hard light. I'm going to click on hard light. Now on the computer it's showing me there is a spot where I can press equip. And look at that. I pressed equip and it put the hard light in my primary weapon slot. Now I'm going to go to my Eidolon alloy. You can see it's the second weapon there in the middle. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on equip. And it's going to change it. Now you see I'm doing nothing at all on the Xbox screen. And this is abs actually, actually this is an instant transfer even though I'm doing it on my PC. This is really, really cool. And now I've got my Crusader. I'm going to click on Equip, and boom. It just pops it right in there. Now here's the other cool thing. So, like, look at my, uh, you got Bad Juju there in the second spot. If I click on Bad Juju on my profile on the computer, there's a button that says Move to Vault. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that Move to Vault button, and you'll see my Bad Juju is now gone. It actually moved my Bad Juju into my Gear Vault, back at the tower. So if you're on your Bungie profile and you go over to the side where it says Gear Vault, you'll see a list of all your weapons. So just in mind, for example, I have a Primed Midnight SR5 Scout Rifle. I just selected it on the computer. There is a little box at the bottom when I select that weapon now that says Take From Vault. So watch this. Click on Take From Vault and boom, there's my Scout Rifle. It just pops right into my inventory. Now this is not even a two second delay. This is really awesome. I have to give them a lot of credit for this feature. This is a really nice feature. Now, if I click Move to Vault, boom, it's gone right away. So, this is really awesome. Now, the cool other cool thing here, let's see, I'm going to go to my, um, this is on the PC side now. I'm going to go to my Warlock, and I'm going to look at his gear. If this thing will load. So on my Warlock, I got the Vanquisher 8. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the Move to Vault. I'm going to move that Vanquisher 8 over to the Vault. And then I'm going to go back to my Titan on the computer. And maybe. Okay. 
So I'm on the I'm on the Titan now. I'm gonna click on my Vanquisher eight. I'm gonna click take from vault, and there it is. This is really really cool. All right, so I'm gonna put the Vanquisher back. Move that to the vault. Now just to show you guys how awesome this is, let's say you get into a mission. Uh, let me just let me just go to Mars here. I'm gonna go to patrol on Mars. So we'll give it a second here. Let this thing load. And I'll show you guys how this is working. And of course, I'll link you guys to the update. I'll put the link down at the bottom. They've got a little tutorial on Bungie.net that shows you how to do it. The other part of the update, they're basically talking about Inferno, which is going to be coming into the Crucible. It's a new Crucible mode. It's basically going to be control. It's not going to have any radar. So they're hoping supers will be less effective. It's basically kind of like a bare bones mode that's going to be in there, which I think is going to be pretty cool. All right, so here we are. We're on Mars. Let's now, let's say, you know, I'm, I get here, and I, I'm on patrol, and I, I all of a sudden I remember, oh, crap, you know, I forgot I forgot a weapon that I wanted that's back in the vault. You know, there's something that I want to grab, like a sniper rifle, or, you know, let's say there's just something you left in your vault that you want to pick up. So I'm going to just go back to my Titan inventory screen. You guys see here I'm on a patrol mode. I'm going to go to my, my primary weapons. Now I'm going to go into my vault and I'm going to select No Land Beyond. And I'm going to press Take from Vault. And boom, there it is. I mean, it's so quick. It's like not even a second goes by that you make that selection and it pops right in there. So that is just so cool. And the other way this works too, let's say you are... Let's say it's the Thursday night and you're Friday morning and, and you want to buy something from Zer. Let's say you've only got like 10 strange coins on your main character but your other characters got like 12 strange coins you can go into that other character on their gear inventory on this application and actually move those strange coins over from that character to your vault and then to the character you want it on like for example I'm on my okay I went back in on I'm on my Titan again and let's see what I have in my what I have in my vault if there's anything else we can bring over here Okay, so like I've got some sapphire wire in my vault, and I want to bring that over to my Titan. Uh, apparently, it's not letting me do that. Interesting. I thought there was a way. Oh, here it is. Okay, here here it is. So I just have my screen scroll down wrong. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm on my vault on my on the computer application, and I'm gonna pick sapphire wire. There's two pieces of sapphire wire I have in my vault, and I'm gonna hit take from vault. It says how many would I like to transfer? I can select two. I hit transfer, and boom, there's the Sapphire Wire. That is really awesome. Now this also works, let me go back to this screen, I'm going to go down to my equipment page, and I'm on my shaders, like let's say I've got my rose gold shader in the vault, which was from the Queen's Wrath event, if you guys remember, I'm going to click take from vault, and boom, my shader pops right in there. So I'm doing all this on my computer, which is right next to my, my gaming system, so I can just swap. So, like, if you're, in a, if you're going into a raid, if you're going into any kind of match and you, you forget a weapon now, you can just go right into your computer, to your, your smartphone app, and you can transfer any of those weapons right to your player instantly in-game. And that is just... i got to give Bungie a lot of credit. Like I said, I'm critical of Bungie when, when they do things I don't think are that great, but this is an awesome, 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 awesome app application, awesome thing you can do with the computer. And really, really neat, really exciting. So, this is cool. Gotta admit, this is cool. It's been a pretty good week for them. You know, between this and adding in the uh, the reputation panel, I have to admit they're really giving us a lot better, you know, ways to interact with our gear and our items that we have on our characters. So, kudos to Bungie. I'm giving you guys some support this time. So, <laughs> everybody should be pretty happy with that. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found this helpful. Again, I'll link to the uh, thing, the uh, link to the um, Bungie article down below so you guys can go read it and figure out how to do this. But I hope you guys find this helpful. This is a great little application and an awesome way to be able to swap out your gear. Anyway, guys, anyways, guys, hope you're having a great day, and I will see you again next time.